Good evening, your Trixel host, Race here. I'm here to proudly present you our third installment of our all new 2021's Valentine's Tricks and Videos. In this installment, I'm going to show you 16 tricks that you could do that will be definitely filled with the heart, filled with the love, and filled with delight. And I'm going to do is get to him right now. So here am I in the heart of the living room. Here is where I'll cop our first trick, and that is the Valentine's Magic Floating Chocolate Kiss. Magic trick. And that this kiss will float like. With love, the spirit makes things lift and rise up. Whoa! Yeah. So how to get this kiss to float like that? As he is about to reveal the kiss secret to you right now. All you'll be needing is just simply two things for this. What you'll need is what you'll see right here. And that is a real kiss. You can use a real kiss, or you can use is this fake one, which is what I used. There's a hole in the back there. You can also create a hole into a real one. And you're going to is this, use um, a fake stem or a real stem from a rose. What you want to do is you're going to put it in like this. Nice and firm and tight. Like that. In the back. And all you're going to do is you're going to hold this part here. And it actually is just a... Uh, Keying it down, you're gonna hold it like this. That's going to make it like float like this. Is it suit there? What you want to do is have it onto a table like this. Now all you're just doing is gonna simply just rise it up like this. And just see right here. So you're gonna start off it with it up close. Now all you gotta do is be very, very careful as you lift, and by magic, the kiss magically floats, just coming from the table and having it float and be suspended in mid-air. You see right there. You can also wiggle it and give it some life action with this. After it's done, just simply just bring it down very slow. This very, very slowly. After it's done, you can take out the stem and give this stem a ditch and and the 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 kiss over for a um a, cho a yeah, chocolate treat. As you see, that's in here. A very cool uplifting magic trick that would definitely surprise a lot of people with that one. And I know how it is done. What a very sweet kiss that was. And that right there is how you do the Valentine's Magic Floating Chocolate Kiss Magic Trick. That would definitely um, lift the spirits up with that one as well too. And then that brings us right down to our love number two. Right to you. And that is the Appearing Chocolate Heart Hat. Magic trick is what this chocolate heart hat will look like. Okay, so here you see I got my uh, hat right here. This one on the side. You guys can take a look at the hat right here. There's, there's nothing in the inside of that of the hat. Watching this, just gonna just take this hat here and have this come over. Watch this. And by magic. I make a chocolate heart appear by the use of this hat. Hi, this, as soon as this is done, right now, all you'll need is this very nice, interesting looking hat you see there with, um, 
a, a rose on it with a feather, as you see just here. Then you will need is your well-known chocolate heart, you can see right here. Goes well with the hat. Imagine that. Okay, anyways, what I want to do is going to start off with the, uh, the uh, chocolate heart into the pocket of your pants first. And have the hat just like that on the table up front. So your hands going to is show the hat as a misdirection of you going into your pocket collecting the heart like this. Be very quick as you, you do that. Get the heart. Put it into the hat like this. Then come up to the table and wave your hands over it. And then simply just pick this up and by magic making a chocolate heart up here by the use of a very divine looking hat you see just right here. Makes a very sweet magic trick that you could do that would definitely impress everyone with that one. Full of the heart and full of love with that one. And that right there is how you do the appearing chocolate heart heart hat magic trick. Bring us down to our love number three. And that is the trick which I like to call the magic whisper stick to silk magic trick. This is what this whisper stick will look like. Here is the performance. Okay, so here I got this whisper stick here. Watch. Are you ready? My magic completely turns into silk. How is this one done? As it is I'm about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you're going to need to turn the whisper stick into silk. Okay, so all you'll need is a whisper stick or any stick will do as long as it has um, something to put in a silk. It has to be just like this, like in a box, long box shape. You're going to is remove the, uh, the lip chap from the stem part where the, the lipstick comes from. What you want to do is going to tape a silk into it and color it the same color as the stick applicator that you'll see just right here. So there, the silk is just like this. What you want to do is you're going to preload the, the silk into the uh, cover box, which is what this is, just like this. And then just simply just use this. It won't go in all the way, but that's okay. Because what you're going to do is you're going to hide that like this with your finger, like this. Then so, and I gotta do is be very quick. And I simply just remove this, hide this, and simply end up doing this. Turning it into silk. That's what's like in slow. In fast, um, it will be like this. So you're gonna sew the stick off, and you're gonna go like this. Like that, you can hold it like this, and then end off with it and just like this. You can throw this down into your lap if it's sitting down, if it's sitting up, right into your pocket. And there, you can take a look at the silk from a lipstick into silk. You can also put this down here so that stays hidden behind the silk like this. And that's how you get lipsticks like that to turn into silk by Love Magic. And that right there is how you do the magic whisper stick to silk magic trick. Very silky. No wonder why the color um, of the lipstick on the lips looks very silk like. Coming in down to our next trick, this one goes into a. Um, a petal of a rose to our trick number four. And that is the ro rose petal to a rose magic trick. Here's what this petal to rose will rose like. 
So here, I got my rose. Watch. By magic, the one rose petal turns itself into a full-on rose head, you see? Right here in the palm of my hands. So how did I get the uh, petal to turn into the, the full rose head? As is, I'm about to reveal the... Secret. This is what you're gonna need to turn the petal into the full head of the rose. And that's what you'll see here. You'll need is a fake, a fake rose, the full head you see right here. What you wanna do is gonna cut off the same petal of this because you want it to be the same, the same petal for this. And that is what you'll see right here. What you wanna do, do is gonna poke a hole and thread an elastic onto it. You see right here. And you'll need a full back clip to um, tie on, like you'll see, just right here. So here is the gimmick part that you'll need for this. What you wanna do is gonna fasten this onto your belt in the back like this. That way, this will just fly off back here. Make sure you have this further way down over here, so that way it makes a quick ditch just around your back. What you're going to do is you're going to conceal the rose head into your hand like this. Pedal. Well, just make sure the pedal is out and not folded. Like this. All you gotta do is place this in as you let go of this and it'll look like this. By magic, the rose petal turns into the full head of a rose in the palm of your hand. As you see, this here. There it gets more of the uh, love roses, the love red rose. Uh, that one there, the head right here, almost looks like um, a wine colored rose head, you see, just right here. And that right there is how you do the rose petal to a rose. Magic trick. Here we're gonna get a love candle and do something very magical with it. Very big of a surprise one. Because the trick here, which I like to call the love candle surprise trick, which is our fifth trick on our installment three. And again, thank you for watching our installments one and two. Now, here is the trick to you right now. It's always good to bring the light to everyone with a little bit of love and light. So here I got this. Give it a light. Watch. <gasps> Whoa! Did you just see some? I never knew this kid um give out roses. How is that possible, guys? Let's see. Look down on the floor. I think you see lots of rose petals that were made by this. These eyes down to the ground. Whoa, look at this, guys. This actually came from the candle. Wow. So how did it get these to come from the candle? As it is, I'm about to reveal the... Secret. The secret in this is extremely simple. Get teach you this is done right now. All you'll need are just two love things for this one. Okay, so all you'll need is this love candle. Nice and pink. It says the love onto it. The second you'll need is red rose petals. Goes well with the heart you see here. And of course, you'll need to uh, light, bring out the light with a lighter. So only two things plus a lighter to give the light onto the candle. What you want to do in getting ready for this magic trick. That is, you're going to take the petals, bounce like this, bounce into your hand, as you see me doing, like this. Get them all in. Make sure you get a handful. Well, not a, a super big handful, but just a good medium size. 
What you want to do is gonna use your thumb and hold it like this. So that way these do not escape right away. The candle now goes up like this. So the pedal going behind the, ca the candle is just right up here. What you want to do is gonna give this a light, and as you blow this out, you're going to let uh, let go, and by you blowing, will um, blow the petals right out as you blow the flame out of the candle. So it will look a little something like this. So here is me putting the light on to the candle. Like that. And all you're going to do is you can go like that. Make sure this is like this. <laughs> I got a pedal, <laughs> and that's how you do the pedal mouth catch. <laughs> LOL. But anyways, uh, with that, you blow the flame out, and then what happens is the pedals will just uh, come up by the sides as you blow out the flame. There, gets the rope pedals in there as well as the love candle in there as well too. And that's that brings out the light to you with this as well. And that right there is how you do the magic love candle surprise trick. Bring us down to our trick number six. And the trick which I like to call the vanishing tea light candle and cup magic trick. Here's what this tea light candle and cup will look like. Okay, so here I got my uh, a cup right here that has the, the heart of love on it. You can see. I'm going to do is I got my tea light candle here and I got this heart tray you see right there. I'm gonna actually just rest this onto this right here. Okay, actually is I'm going to just hold over here like this. It's gonna actually is uh make it completely vanish. Watch. Make it vanish. Where does it end up? Check over here. By magic, it appears inside here. How is this done? I'm going to show you this is done right now. All you'll need is a red cup and a, sk a sticker of a nice glitter heart on it. You see, just here. Then you'll need is this uh, um, wine red rustic rose candle. You see, just here. And you'll need is a heart tea light candle holder. You'll see. This right here. What you want to do here is you're gonna place this over because of it being so big, it'll lock into here like that. So it'll lock when you pick it up. What you want to do is get your hand involved in this by going like this and then get your hand over and just simply going like this. This goes in here, drops the candle off into the holder. They're taking a the candle tear because they see your hat is covering it over. We'll move it around and make it vanish. So it's done. Simply pick up the cup just like this. And magic, it appears in the holder that you'll see this here. And that right there is how you do the vanishing tea light candle and cup magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number seven. This one here goes into a smooch, not any smooch, the smooch button that provides you with a kiss on your cheek with that one. Um, and that is at number seven, the magic kiss me smooch button, magic trick. Here's what this smooch button will look like. So here I got my little cute, my little kiss me thing here. Watch this guy's gonna actually just go like this and watch. By magic, a kiss appears on my cheek. So how to get this smooch on my cheek by the use of this? As is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a sticker of a kiss, of a pair of lips, you see just right here. And then you need is this kiss me button, you see just right here, with the pin on the back. What you want to do is it going to have it onto your thumb like this and covered by the button like 
just like that. All I gotta do is I'm gonna greet this to your chin like this. This will be the cover like this. So we just pull this away, and by magic, a smooch appears on your chin. You see, just like just, just say here. Cool, go on there holds the passion and love with that one as well too. That's that. Even the heart in itself gets kissed all in one with this one. And that right there is how you do the magic kiss me smooch button magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number eight. This one here goes into restoration of a pink no, of a purple ribbon. This is what we need to do as well too, is restore and become anew, exactly. And with love can, and light we'll, can, can do wonders just like that. Goes into a magic trick, which I like to call the Cut and Restored Heart Streamer Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my ribbon. And I got my scissors, you see right here. I'm going to just give this a cut. Like that, you can see. I got this ribbon nice and cut. I'll show you. Like this, okay? So it's all into there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually is uh, take, like say, uh, the uh, heart here. I got like this heart in the inside, guys. Right here. Because the love restores right okay it's so gonna go go like this I place the heart in the inside like this and watch I'll give it a kiss by magic by love it restores the ribbon so how is this done as is I'm about to reveal the secrets all you'll need are only three things. One, you'll need the scissors. I'll supervision is required when using scissors. Two, you'll need is a felt heart, you'll see, just right here. And then you'll need is nice pink or purple ribbon, you'll see, just right here. The ribbon streamer is in a round like this. You're gonna find this in your party section as well too. You can find a lot of colors. You can find any color that will look really nice and heartfelt. With this. Because all this goes into heartfelt love, light, and passion. And happiness. And to the spirit as well too. So in preparation, all you need is to, is to uh, cut a size that looks like this. The heart is pretty simple, this is pretty straightforward. And now you need, need to do is just provide a gimmick piece. And it's give you a cut with your scissors like this. A pretty simple let's set it up for this. You put that aside. What you want to do, I'm gonna give this a fold. Like this. Hold. Take your gimmick. Fold that too. And place up to greet to the other one, like this. There is the one that you're gonna cut, which is the top, the top, the gimmick one. And you'll see that's right here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna set off with the heart into your pocket of your pants, like this. Why? Because you're gonna ditch this while pulling the heart out of your pocket. So you're gonna sew the ribbon, get your scissors, and give it a cut. Sew the cut made, like this. All you gotta do is you're gonna bunch this up and just remove it like this. And go into your pocket and drop this off into your pocket at the same time as you collect the uh, thong. Heart, like this. You're going to is open the uh, streamer up like this. Place the heart onto it like that. Show the heart. 
and you just rub it like this. Over it. You can also give it a kiss. So that love and that magic. By love, it restores the ribbon. Streamer, you'll see. Just see here. That's why love is very important to have, especially around these times as well, too. There, shows just how love can mend with that one. And that's what that master trick represents, as well as an amazing master trick you can do. And pull off, as well, too. It's very simple and very straightforward from there. And that right there is how you do the cut and restored Heart streamer magic trick. Then that brings us down to our trick number nine. And that is the magic heart box bomb magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here we definitely get to, to the heart with this one. And there, there, you'll see lots of many of hearts with that one. What many hearts of what? Hearts of love and peace. Exactly. Well now, here is the magic trick. Here I'm at Tortillo, you can see you got my box here, I got my heart right here. We're gonna actually is like not just multiply, but multiply this into many. You can see you can just put this into the box, you can see this right here. Like that, it's gonna actually stick it in just like this. Okay, like that, you can see it's just inside there, like that. Okay, like this, you can see my heart's inside there. Okay, and again, I'm gonna get my my lid here. I'm just gonna actually just put my uh, my lid on here, like this. Okay, and actually is bring light to it, like this. So here's my lighter. I'll put a place on top. But first, I'm gonna actually give it a light with my lighter, like that. So here, what I'm going to do is. Go on to that. Watch. Okay, what did that do? If I can just take this off. Whoops. And watch. By magic, look what it turned in. Look what happened. It exploded and gave many love, love hearts. So there's lots of love going around in this one. Guys, we should take a look at the table where the hearts are on the tricks table. Come close, and I'll show you. Oh, that's a lot of love hearts, guys. That's great, because that's what we need. We need love, okay? Anyways, how is this done? I'll show you right now. All you need are craft foam hearts. These come into a pack of many, many colors. All you need is this heart box. And you'll need is a felt heart. What you want to do is you're going to get a bandana on the inside to actually lock this in place. So you just place the heart into here like this, and you'll just lock in place like that. What you want to do in preparation for it is you're going to preload these into the lid, which I'll be showing you right now. So you're going to hold the lid like this, and you're going to place these in the inside just like this, as you see me doing. So we're going to start off with them in the inside of here. Get all of them. Got, oh, got small, medium, and big size. Okay, so once you got them all into here, you are good to go. What you'll need is a white tea light candle. And of course, you'll need a lighter. As well, too. So you're going to start off with it like this on one side the heart up here like this support up by the box like that what you want to do is going to place the heart in to the box like this and you'll lock in place like that what you want to do is be careful when you put this in like this you do not want the hearts to um, fall out hearts are inside here all you gotta do is you're gonna get your candle and place on top of the box you see just right here. 
After that's done, all you gotta do is simply get your lighter and give the tea light a light. Like this. And there gets the light into there. All you gotta do is simply blow it out like this. Wait for a while. Have, to have it just steam up after you blow it out. Remove the tea, tea light candle aside. All you gotta do is to open the box and dump. And by magic, the heart explodes into many love hearts onto the table. Cool one, because there um, shows the heart of love and the light within this one as well too. And that right there is how you do the magic heart box bomb magic trick. Coming into our trick number 10. It's a trick I like to call the Valentine's Multiplying Heart Pouch Magic Trick. This is what this heart multiplying pouch will look like. So here I got my uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, pouch here. So I'm gonna give it an open like that. And here I got is only one heart right right here. Okay, it's going to place this into the bag, but first I want you guys to take a look in the inside that it is completely empty. And I'm gonna go to close, and here I got my wand right here. Watch. Okay, I just give that an, an open now after I did the wand tap. And watch. One. Two. Three. And four hearts, you see, just right here. Okay, so how did I just? I'll show you right now. All you'll need is four um, pink or purple hearts. You're going to is put them together just like this. First. Like that, you're going to sandwich them together and only so that's that one heart you see just right here. Let's place that aside. Then you're good to go. Then you'll need is a wand. Here I used is my heart wand, you see right here, for a magic wand. Then the pouch. You're going to have to put some love, like, love stickers onto it. As you see, does say here. What you want to do is take your pouch, open it like that. So, the inside, completely empty. So, only the one heart. Be careful not to expose the rest of them. Like this. Gonna place it into the pouch, just like this. And let's give it a close. Take your wand here, and go over it like this, and do the wand wave and a tap. And it's done. Open the pouch, and proceed to take out first one heart. The second heart after, then the uh, third, the third heart, and last the fourth heart. As you see right there, there gets more heart of love out, because love is again the most important thing to everyone out there as well too. There we we'll de we'll definitely multiply the hearts and the love with this one as well. Enjoying these times, we definitely need that love and light with this as well too. And, but right there is how you do the Valentine's Multiplying Heart Pouch Magic Trick. Here we're gonna get a doily and something, have something to appear onto it. And coming in, into our trick number 11, which I like to call the Royal Valentine's Magic Red Doily Magic Trick. Here's what this red doily will look like. It was the, the performance. So here I got my, my my dolly here, you can see, back in front, watch. My magic, what appears on the dolly, is a nice flower upon it, as you see right here. So how do I do this? As is, I'm about to reveal the... Secrets. All you'll need are two things to make this happen. For this, you're going to need is this, um... 
hair flower. It has a clip in the back here. And then you'll need is this nice red doily. You see just here, what you want to do here is with the clip, you know, open it and just put it into the doily like this and close it, lock it in place like this. You see, it's just right there. That way is like it sits on here like a pad. All you gotta do is you're going to hide it in your hand like this and hold the doily like this. Make sure it is out the doily like this. Make sure this is not exposed. All you see is that you get doily like this. Out like that. And so, back here. Make sure that doesn't flow out. Make sure it's nice and palmed. Well, like this. Just done. Put it into your hand like this. And make it appear like that right on the doily. So that way it's like a presenting pad for the appearing of the, f the flower on the doily, you see? Just here. Just done. Just place it onto the center of the table. And that right there is how you do the Royal Valentine's Magic Red Doily Magic Trick. Bring us down to our trick number 12. And that is the Valentine's Magic... Uh, Casio Ruby Love Snack Magic Truck. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my uh, my uh, treatment here. I'm gonna actually just gonna make this completely vanish. You see, not yet. Watch. I'm gonna actually go like this and make it completely vanish. Like that. You see. Where did it end up? Let's check the freezer. And magic, it ends up in the the, the Casio Ruby Hagen Dazs box. All this is done. I'll show you this is done right now. All you'll need is what you're gonna see here. You need two of the same treats. You see right here. And then you'll need is the Hagen Dazs um, Casio Ruby. Make sure it's completely empty. You're gonna place one in the inside just like that. And you get to go. And then just simply just um, seal this up like that with some tape. And you're gonna place this into your freezer. Like this. So you're gonna place it in just like that. You guys can take a closer look up at it. It's just right there. Okay, it's done. Whoa. Well, you're gonna simply uh, close your freezer just like this. There's a step right there. Then what you'll be needing is a nice covering. You see, just right here. You're gonna hold it just like this. You're gonna take your treat. And you're going to is sew the treat first. Place it into your hand like this. And you're going to is use this as a covering to actually grip this part here like this and go like this. You're going to do that once over, showing it's still there. And then let's do it again like this and make the bash happen. Make sure you give this a ditch immediately. That way you can take a look at this for inspection. Once you made that vanish, you're going to place your, your covering down, open your freezer, take out the uh, haagen box, and just give it an open. Then by magic, you pull it out of the Hagen Dazs Akakio, a Ruby box, you see, does it here. It's a very sweet um, magic trick you could do. That would definitely show the sweet side of things with this one. And that right there is how you do that Valentine's magic. Um, 
Kakio Ruby Love Snack Mazer Trick. Then we get down to our 13th one, and that is the Happy Valentine's Magic Cherry Cola Trick. Is what this cherry cola will look like. So here at the trick table, you can see I got my um, my uh, cherry cola here. Cheers to you guys out there, and watch. So I'm gonna actually set my fingers and watch. Get my uh, cola. I get a shake. And look. Look who comes out of it. So how do I do this? As soon as this is done, right now, all you'll need is a tall uh, cup, like a martini cup, you see just here. You all need is um, a cherry cola can, you see just here, and all you need for this is a funnel. You're gonna place the inside just like this. And then you'll need is your own no one cinnamon hearts for this. What you want to do? You're gonna preload this into your um, cola can like this. Like that. Good. Get a good amount in the inside of this, and you're good to go. Make sure that this is empty before starting. Okay, this is empty by magic. Okay, you can see you're gonna go, show your cola can, snap your fingers, and all you gotta do is simply pour it in, make sure the label is facing, pour it in, and just give it a shake. Like this. And just watch it fill the, uh, Martini glass, you see, just see here. Like that. That's all there is to it. It's a very simple one. There, it gets more sweets into it as well, too. Gives the um, uh, Iman Hearts within this one and gets you um, the cherry cola can in it as well, too. Cheers to that one. And that right there is how you do the Happy Valentine's Magic Cherry Cola Can Trick. Now we get down to our trick number 14, and that is the Magic Rising fl a Flower in the Tube Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Let's take a look at my tube. Let's place the flower in just like that. All the way down to the bottom. Watch this. You're going to actually hold on to this. Watch the flower. By magic. It floats. Let's see up to the top. How's this done? Let's see right now. All you need is a, a chocolate tube, tube, flower with a monofilament fishing line on attached to it, and onto an elastic. You see, just right here. All you gotta do is gonna place this in the inside, just like that. After showing it off, all you gotta do is to simply move your hand like this. That magic it will rise and end up rising above like that. A very simple one, very easy to do, and very easy to work. Get up for the, f the uh, rising f flower tube magic trick. Then we get to our 15th one, and that is the fashion silk to the rose bouquet magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So I take my uh, silk sash, you see here? You see that bouquet over there? Watch, wow, so that's gonna actually make us completely vanish and end up into that. Watch this and actually watch. Make it completely vanish. I pick this up right here and watch. The magic pull it right off it. How's this done? I'm sure this is done right now. Here's what you need to make this happen. So you need is, is a rose bouquet. You're gonna need is two silk sashes. What you're gonna do is gonna preload one into the bouquet just like this beforehand. Like that. In there among the roses and start onto the table aside. And you're gonna give your thumb tip, make the bash happen. You're going to hold your thumb tip and hide with the other silk sash like this. 
You're going to do this standing up and away from the rose bouquet. So as you here, all you gotta do is simply place this in like this, as a simple vanishing of the silk, like this. And make the vanishing happen. And when that is done, go to your bouquet, and simply go in and pull it out, just like that. That's all that's to it. And now right there, so you do the vanishing silk to the rose bouquet magic trick. Now for our last one, to our 16th one, is the Happy Valentine's Punch and Party Plate. Trip prank is what this will look like. Get my pencil here. You see? Watch this. Place it on here. That watch. And how's this done? It's very simple. It's just a gimmick cup, plate, put on top, hold, and does that. Pull away and does that. This is a double pane. This is like that. Very simple. You can get soft with it onto a table. Pick it up. Give it a swish. Put it on top. And you simply just do this. Tip it back. And so like this.